Hi, welcome to another session in Simbit's energy harvesting video series. Today we're going to talk about harvesting solar energy, the light that's in this room or outside, and actually take that free energy and power devices. The first example I'd like to show you is the uh, kit from TI. This is the TI EZ430 RF2500-SEH wireless development kit. Now, truly, that's the longest name of a development kit in the market, I think, today. But it's a really cool device, and let me walk you through it a little bit. Over here, we have a solar panel, and it's designed, obviously, to collect the light uh, in, in this room. It's designed, actually, to work down to 200 lux, so it works in very low light conditions. The energy, then, is collected and stored on this Simbit Energy Harvesting Module. This is the CVC5300 module, and it contains two Enerchip thin film batteries that stores the energy from the solar panel. And then also on this is the electronics and power management to drive this Texas Instruments wireless sensor. On here we have an MSP430, one with a CC2500 radio, and it runs the, essentially the Zigbee protocol on 802.15.4, but we're actually using Simplicity protocol from TI because it's got a, a smaller information footprint, it's lower power. Because one of the things when you're designing these kinds of systems is you have to understand how to optimize the, the power usage throughout the entire system. So this development kit is available today from DigiKey, Mauser, and on the TIE store. And it also comes with all the firmware and software you need to run it. And, and that's open source. You can actually uh, use that and get examples on how to develop a kit like this. So it's really an exciting turnkey autonomous wireless sensor development kit. Now we've taken that same technology and put it in this example as a, a solar energy harvesting wall plate. Here we see the solar cell again. And on the back, we've got the electronics that we had before. And again, here's the, the uh, Enerchip EH CVC5300 module. This is actually a product that you can buy from DigiKey and Mauser. So you're able to buy these modules and integrate them directly into your designs. Again, it's specially optimized to work with a solar cell and then drive the, the TI radio. And of course, there's wonderful opportunities to make this even smaller. This is certainly a bit of a demonstration kit. There's lots of cool opportunities to build autonomous wireless sensors for temperature, um, for occupancy, for air quality. There's all sorts of things you can do using this self-powered device. You notice there's no batteries to change. You can put it up and forget it. The third example we have here today is uh, we're using Konarka's Power Plastic Flexible Solar Cell. And we wrap that around a cylinder and it's then connected again to the Simbit Energy Harvesting Module, the CVC5300 is connected to the Kanarka, and it's also connected over here to the TI radio. So we've been able to create another autonomous wireless sensor uh, using, in this case, flexible solar cell. So you can imagine lots of neat applications for various ways you can wrap that solar material around an object and harvest the energy. Now, of course, as you have all these sensors in a network, you'll want to track them, and part of the TI demo kit is this graphical user interface software. Over here we have the main access point node. It's a USB key that talks to the other devices. And here you see we have the three solar energy harvesters reporting back. Um, they're all running off the, the light right now. Should, for instance, the lights go out or it's nighttime, these bubbles would actually turn blue as shown up here, showing that the inner chip is powering the node. Then, of course, when the light comes back on, you have an opportunity to not only charge the batteries but run the unit. So you can cycle this many thousands of times. So it's a very exciting way to use essentially free energy to power these wireless devices. If you go to Simbit.com, you'd be able to download a white paper on Zero Powers Wireless Sensors. It talks about a lot of these concepts in greater detail. It also describes how you can use other transducer types such as thermal or piezo or RF electromagnetic to be able to run these autonomous wireless sensors. Of course the key enabler here is the energy harvesting and storage capabilities that Simbit brings to you. So we look forward to talking to you more about your projects. Please give us a call, stop by our site as we update it often, and we look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks.